A great way to save space and also make menus more dynamic is adding a toggle menu. Literally by pressing one button, you can open and close and add more interactivity. Life goes up and it goes down. Okay, so in this video, I will show you how I made a toggle menu for my AR app, Island Fever Augmented Reality with Unity Game Engine. And what we're talking about is how to create a menu that you can toggle off and on to increase interactivity and save screen space in your mobile app. We don't have a lot of screen space, but you could save it by adding a toggle menu. At the end of this video, you will understand how toggle elements work and how you can implement them into your project. So how do you make a toggle menu in Unity? First, you create a canvas, set the resolution, and set the match to 0.5, create a panel, call it menu background, and resize it to make a container for the menu, add text, name it label, resize it, and call it menu, add buttons, resize it, change the color, and call it back, then give the text some style, add extra text to fill the space, add a toggle, call it menu toggle, Delete the text and resize the icon. Resize the check mark to fit the size of the icon and change the icon for the check mark. Then change the color too. Go to the toggle button and hit the plus sign for the value change boolean. Then add the menu game object to the toggle and set it to toggle active. And voila! We have a toggle menu that gives us additional settings and features to enhance our mobile experience. I was able to create this by first understanding the purpose of a toggle menu. And so when we don't have toggle menus, we don't have access to a lot of screen space. We have a small phone, you know, something that fits on our hand and it may have a big pixel resolution, but you probably weren't able to see all this stuff if you make it too small. And so with it, especially with AR apps, you want to have the most screen space open because you want to have access to the camera and you want to see things. You don't want things in the way of you seeing things. And so when you have your phone screen on and then you toggle the menu on, you're able to have this huge library of features and settings that you could access and tweak to improve your experience. And it gives you access to, to so much more stuff that you otherwise wouldn't have. And you have that the, you know, the touch of a button. But when you turn it off, you could actually toggle that off so you could keep those settings and you could keep those features. You just aren't stuck with those on your screen 24-7, 100% of your uh, time. And so with the toggle menu, it allows users to have access to all the various features and settings while also having access to a, a large view of your screen. Since a mobile screen has limited space, you have to be efficient with how you use it while also giving them the best experience possible. It's all about giving people experiences. If you don't give people settings to play around with, then they're not gonna have as good of an experience. And if you give people settings, but you can't let them turn those settings off and you can't let them hide those settings, then it also ruins that experience. And so keep that in mind when you're thinking about why I want a toggle menu. And then we go on to creating it. Now time to apply what we've learned with an activity. And this is to implement toggles into a menu screen and extend the toggle menu with toggle groups. And the key steps are creating a canvas, create a panel, add text, add a toggle, and then connect the toggle to the panel. So give it a try and post a reply in the comments to let me know how it goes. And if you're not in a hurry, Go ahead and follow along as we work on this activity. And so we're in Unity. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new scene. And that scene will be 005, we'll just say toggle menu. And since this is the sixth one of our series, we'll just add 006. You can name it whatever you want. And we'll just open it. And so in this, what we're going to do is we're going to create a canvas. And we'll just call this uh, menu. And with it, change it, 
have screen space overlay, and then constant pixels, change that to scale with screen size, and then obviously 1080 by 1920, and then you want to set the match to 0.5, just like that. So now that we have that, we have our screen. So then we're going to go ahead and add a panel. And that panel is going to be menu background, like that. And with that panel, we'll actually make it smaller. So I'm going to make it, I'll say from the top, 500, and then from the bottom, 500. And then from the left, we could have 300. No, we'll do 150 from the left and 150 from the right, like that. And then we'll just make the opacity higher. Perfect. Now we want to add some text to it. So in it, we want to add some text text and we're just going to make it a little larger so large text make it larger center it call it mini and then we're going to raise it up to the top then next we're going to add a button so just add a button again we'll just increase it so make it smaller or make it bigger and I'll just make it red in the text make it larger call it back button Next color, make it white. And with it, also just make it bold. We will lower it down. Lastly, we'll just add some extra text. Make it larger. And we'll say, it's is dummy text. There you go. Boom, boom. But we have our menu screen, just like that. So now we're just going to make a button or a toggle. And we'll go through, find a toggle. Perfect. And we'll call this menu toggle. And with that, we will drop it down to the bottom. So delete the label. With this, we'll make this about 150 by 150. I'll also center this. Then we'll increase this to 160 by 160. And we'll also anchor it to the bottom. Take the menu, we'll just lift it up by 150. And the check mark, we're going to make this as large as possible. And then we'll change it from a circle to a knob. We'll change the color to green. And now, when we select it, flex on and off. So now it's time to parent the button. 
we go to the toggle menu on Boolean change. We'll say menu background. Go to function, go to game object, I go set active. Then as it, it's on. Save it. Play again. We have a toggle menu. Just like that. I appreciate all my Patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me. And again, if you want to get the project files for this project, go ahead and join my Patreon. And if you haven't already, go ahead and join the Discord because there's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool conversations, and that is the best place to reach out to me and help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community. If you like this and other videos, definitely join my Patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects. And be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos. Download the Island Fever Augmented Reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Check out my courses on Skillshare, Gumroad, and Udemy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island or going to stuckonanisland.com. All the links in the description below.